I am Phil Ashey from the American Anglican Council, and it's Easter. Christ is risen. The Lord is risen indeed. Alleluia. The question comes, of course, now that we've celebrated Christ's resurrection, what is the meaning and the relevance of the resurrection? And I'd just like to go back to that gospel lesson we heard this past Easter Sunday where Mary comes to the tomb, Mary Magdalene, and saw that the stone had been removed from the entrance. She came running back to Simon Peter and uh, the beloved apostle John, who then ran to the tomb, looked inside, saw the linen cloths laid aside and the headpiece all folded neatly. And the question rises, you know, in these three people, what was the relevance of the resurrection to them. Imagine, first of all, the beloved Apostle John, one who had been with Jesus, who loved him, uh, who was the one who laid his head in Jesus' lap, uh, who stood with Mary and watched Jesus die on the cross and saw uh, the incredible pain and suffering and all of his hopes dashed. And so he arrived at that tomb and saw the stone rolled away, and for John, it meant that the impossible had been rolled away. How many people in your life need to have the impossibles rolled away? This Easter is for them. There was Simon Peter, who had betrayed his Lord, his best friend, three times before the rooster crowed, who was carrying a load of shame and guilt. And when he arrived in that tomb, with that incredible load of guilt and shame. He looked inside and saw that Jesus was not there. And for Simon Peter, who was carrying such uh, grief and pain for things that he couldn't change, things he had done wrong, all of a sudden, this Easter meant, and that empty tomb meant, that there was a fresh start and no more guilt and shame. And then there was Mary. Beloved Mary Magdalene, who stood with Mary, the mother of Jesus, while he was being crucified. Uh, Mary, whom Jesus had cast seven demons out of. Mary, who loved Jesus so deeply and whose love was shattered by his death. It seemed like the love was over. And then there she was, grieving over the tomb. And she turned and saw a gardener whom she thought was a gardener when he was actually Jesus, and said, where have you taken my Lord? And what did the gardener say? He said, Mary. And she recognized him, her Lord and Savior whom she loved. And for Mary, what did Easter mean? Easter meant that there is a love for Mary, for you and for me that lasts forever. And it's got your name, my name, personally written on it. Who do you know today needs the impossibles rolled away in their life? Whom do you know today carrying a weight of shame and guilt for things they cannot change? Who needs a fresh start? Whom do you know today, like Mary, who needs a love that will begin now and never end, whose name is on that love? written personally there by Jesus himself. Go and share that. That's what Easter means. That's the relevance of the resurrection.